is the solution to the largest poverty situation in Africa. How do you ensure that the elections are going to be fair? No, first of all, I always believe that uh, election process should always be most fair. An election has its validity. In democracy, the most important aspect is election. If elections are held in a free and fair manner, then only it has its validity for the situation. And in IFCO, that's why we have not even ever defaulted in one day delay in election. That's not acceptable. And as far as our election is concerned, we have followed the law, so Corporate Society Act, and our bylaw in complete data understanding. And the person who is returning also is not a small person. He is a senior advocate of Supreme Court, he is a former judge and is a very strict person. He is a very sticker for rules and regulations. And we, he has complete power. I we have also employed some uh, technology into making this uh, election fair, like, uh, like the computers or uh, like uh, electronic cameras or, or things like that. Can you yes. Yes, as far as the general, general body election is very concerned, the positive general body people, they were held and the videography was done and immediate on, immediate our returning officer was getting reserved immediately on a, on the back. So it was not that anybody could delay the result. As soon as the results were out, within minute we got the result and information. Within, within minute everything was compiled. So nobody can manipulate. So that is where I feel that, and when you will see on 10th, we'll have election of directors, you will see the same. We will be employing 8 to 10 cameras everywhere. We have uh, LED screen all around. So everybody can see how, how people are going to be vote. Everybody can watch who is voting. So there cannot be any fictitious voting. How do you people, sure? people carry the, bag, the identity card. Nobody can enter the building that day without any card. We have recently seen in Uttar Pradesh election, poverty election, and in many other organizations as well. That usually, you know, the nomination papers are not given to everybody. But no complaint has come from this from any quarter across India. How do you ensure? No, because we have in everywhere if there is one seat, at least ten nominations would be there, nomination form. So we have a 1 is to 10. As a, for a director, we have sent 30, 30 nomination form everywhere. So anybody can get a nomination form is free. Voter list is available at 100 rupees. We have got about 1, 2,000 voter list. Yes, 1,200. 1,200 voter list printed. And we have around 897 dedicated. So, you can see that anybody can take voter list in Let us still tell you one thing, sir. Uh, are you missing a constitutional amendment act which said that there should be an election authority for cooperative elections? Are you missing that? I would say, if for me, I will think my returning officer is as good as the election authority. But I have no conflict. If there is an election authority, I also have no conflict in that. If there were election authority, that would have been welcome. But I have treated, we are treating our returning officer the same way as any election authority. That's great. We are not interfering, zero interference from our side in any election. That's great. And how, how the response from the women, because for the first time any cooperative in India had uh, made reservation for women. So how was the response? I think you know, I can, at least four or five women must have approached me. I want to stand, I want to stand. So you can see in the people. And they are saying, I am very grateful that this five percent reservation has happened. We can have opportunity to be director. And so, the women are very enthusiastic. Lot of women are coming But from the 46 uh, delegates yes. that you have chosen, yes. how many of them contested are you? I think not more than five to six, and I don't think we got even. Forty-six. Uh, I think we had 
we had only one or two women delegates. Earlier, earlier. 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 And that will be for the first time. In this the is the first time a woman delegate when the director will be elected, and that's why among women there is lot of enthusiasm. Lot of women are saying, "I will enter, I will contest." Yes, yes, yes. Please come. They say uh, from 26 April to 3 May they can get form, they can deposit form from 1 May to 5 May, and then there is scrutiny and there is all that uh, dates. Uh, I think six. You have a scrutiny. Uh, we have a scrutiny on uh, seven, sir. Seven. Yes. And sir, uh, we also come to know that uh, uh, a rationalisation of uh, constituencies were yes. effected this time. So, what are the needs for it? You see, we did want. We according to what I really want is I want all India representation in our board. So, no state should have more than two directors. That's why we have rationalised constituencies some man in such a manner that no state can have more than two. The only exception we have made is women cooperative because it's the first time election is there. So women cooperative can come from any state, even if there are two male who have come from there, a woman can come. So only exception has been made for women. Next time that exception will also be not be there. So in this new organisation. Had uh, also given access to candidates, I mean candidate for directorship, yes. yes. to approach their voters in the nearby area. Because yes. earlier I was told that uh, delegate from Tamil Nadu who has to move, move delegate of uh, Maharashtra yes. to uh, seek favor. Yes. So that thing is gone. Yes. Now today Tamil Nadu and Kerala is one. They are adjacent. Karnataka is one. So we have also ensured that this kind of. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have to spend money to meet people or travel. Anyway, in a, in cooperative, canvassing is not permitted in cooperative election. So we also expect people not to uh, not to canvass or not to do any means unfair means. Let's say anybody comes, I always tell him, a lefto election is always happen in a very free, fair manner. It's a friendly election. It's not an election that you should take it as a precise fight. It's a friendly election. Please let it remain a friendly election. To stay so, but do you think it is being followed? Because people are, of course, being the number one popular. People are investing in a big way to garner support. Ah, <laughs> yeah, but I hope that the canvassing doesn't go to a level where it becomes a. A kind of uh, malice should not come in our organization. Yeah, that's my appeal to our people that this organization, which has come to this level, its sanctity is preserved by its. So at this time, there is going to be no nomination for any director. No nomination. Everybody is elected, and later on, board can go up to director. That 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 is there, but not now. Right now we have all is to that. What is more, sir? Uh, though it is not proper to ask you, but nevertheless, I would just like to know in how many seats do you see there is going to be contest this time? You may as well. I mean, it looks like there at least at least the, we have around uh, 21 seats. So, मुझे तो लगता है कि 10-11 seats पे तो contest शायद होगा. Okay, as of today. It looks like people are very enthusiastic. This is the biggest cooperative elections that is uh, that is taking place in India. Yes. And you are presiding over a committee of that um, biggest cooperative process. So, what is your final message to your delegates, to your team? My final message would be always one: that always believe one thing: that cooperative is a democratic member managed institution. And 
it is the responsibility of all of us to keep that image of fairness, of service to farmers, of respect to cooperators, and keep the cooperative spirit high. Keep the cooperative flag high. We are number one cooperative. We should continue to remain number one cooperative. And that can come only if we continue to remain open, transparent, very clear in our vision. Our economic interests are properly taken care of. We run the business very successfully. At the same time, we don't forget the aspiration of cooperatives and farmers and we work along with them and also help the weak cooperative. We should always have this uh, spirit of the cooperative people who have some problem to stand by them and support them in the hour of need. Even though they may be our competitor also, even then we should see that our spirit of cooperative does not bane, it should remain intact. Thanks a lot, sir. And the Indian Cooperative wishes you all the success. It's a great uh, occasion that Cooperative Election is supposed to We wish you all the best. Thank you, sir.